You're watching News 54. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has ruled that the vote rigging claims case facing Gatundu South Member of Parliament, Moses Uria, will now proceed to full hearing. The Commission, led by Chairman Wafula Chebukati, stated that the matter was weighty and warranted further proceedings. Guria had sensationally claimed that the Jubilee Party stole the 2017 elections to hand President Uhuru Kenyatta an easy win. The Commission threw out a petition by Guria's lawyers who wanted the matter dismissed. Guria, through his lawyers, had argued that the EEP did not have the jurisdiction to listen to such a case. The outspoken lawyer further noted that he had not been supplied with the necessary evidence the EEPC relied on in its prosecution of the case. Guria wanted the matter referred to the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, arguing that IEBC, being the complainant, would not guarantee a just hearing and ruling. Vincent Yegon and the Samoro Eshege. And uh, uh, Chair, as we had indicated earlier in the morning, is that uh, we have not received any material pertaining to the complaint before the Enforcement Committee. And as we sit here, we don't have uh, any of those materials that uh, were allegedly sent to our client or to his agent. And therefore, as much as we would be willing to proceed with the matter, we definitely would require instructions from our client on being seized of those materials or the evidence that this committee intends to use in the prosecution of this case. There is issue about the service of the documents. Uh, can we dispense with that issue? Yes, uh, uh, Chair, uh, I have had counsel uh, on the issue of service. Uh, Chair, uh, I earlier on submitted that uh, the respondent was served, uh, served through his uh, agent and uh, chair to evidence that service uh, the server has sworn an affidavit of service and annexed there to copies of the documents that were served including an extract of the delivery book signifying uh, or evidencing service of the documentation. Uh, Chairman, we have produced before this committee that evidence and it is our submission that uh, that is sufficient service. It cannot be that uh, the fund manager of CDF who accepted service uh, did not act under the instruction of the respondent. Certainly, uh, service was effected on the 29th of March, that is Monday, and we submit that that is sufficient period to have warranted uh, the mounting of a defense or preparation uh, for this uh, hearing. We are ready on our part, Chair, to proceed with the hearing, and we would wish that we be allowed to uh, display the uh, video evidence uh, in support of this uh, statement of breach. Thank you, Chair. <coughs> well, uh, Naoma Sampao is on that particular beat. We'll be getting a more detailed report on what is happening with regards to that case. Kenya ni kwamba uchaguzi unajua tunafanya baada ya kila miaka mitano. Na tukimaliza uchaguzi Kenya inaendelea kubaki. Kwa hivyo na wasi na nawaomba wananchi wa Kenya tufanye uchaguzi kwa amani. Na wanasiasa na waomba kuhakikisha kuomba kula waombe kura kwa amani e, kwa utulivu. Manake sasa ukiomba kura kwa nguvu kwa matusi na fitina hiyo haisaidii. Unataka kuwaonya wale ambao watakuja kufanya fujo wakati wa uchaguzi serikali ipo kuna mkono mrefu na itawaadhibu uwezekanavyo labda niulize swali la serikali tunataka haki ifanyike 
serikali imesema vile imesema kotini na koti nayo ina maoni yake vile koti itakavyoamua hiyo ndio haki itakuwa imefanyika kwa hivyo hatutasema kwamba serikali pengine imeshinda ama imeshindwa haki ndio itakuwa imeshinda